Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And today we have quite a lot of important crypto news updates to share with you all. But first, I have a 2500 XRP giveaway that's ongoing right now. And if you want to enter, all you have to do is make sure you check the link down below in the description and enter either via YouTube, either via Twitter. It does not matter. A link is down below. Having said that, we're going to be covering a lot of news, but I want to start this video out by giving you guys some tips to hopefully make some juicy gains in the crypto space. Now, one of the things I'm going to tell you guys about is to check out Bybit. I'm telling you guys this because there are multiple ways in which you can make easy profit with this platform. Let me explain it to y'all. So there's this thing which is called a mega launch. Usually, Bybit just has some sort of actions where if you make an account, you can get a couple thousand dollars for free. And as I described before, if you get these free dollars and you utilize them in trading properly or just trading actually at all, you can use free money with leverage to make more money and there's not really any risk because it's free money. At least that's the way that I see it. Always, whenever you get the opportunity, claim those free dollars, even if it's 10 bucks. 10 bucks with 50 times leverage can be used as $500, which can still turn into some serious money. Having said that, right now for Bybit, I think they also just launched USDC, by the way, before it used to be USDT only, but that's also kind of like a nice factor if that's something you're trading with. One of the exchanges that has a lot of different options, including so USDC and everything, uh, which is pretty cool. But that's not what I want to share with you guys. What I wanted to share with you guys is the next opportunity. I, I've been shouting out on this channel every single time I'm going to buy a gem that has a extremely high potency to at least multiply in value. I've shown it to you guys a dozen times. I, I think two or three dozen times, but all right. A couple days ago, I showed you a coin which is called Apex. A couple days ago as well, I showed you a coin which is called Fame MMA. Fame MMA is right now at about 55 times the price in which I told you guys, the launch price. And Apex is right now at about five or five and a half times or so the price at which you could have basically gotten it. Which reminds me, the way in which we get these is usually through launch pads. Launch pads are a little bit riskier and less nice in negative uh, market conditions, but you have to know your stuff. Not financial advice. I am not giving you financial advice in the sense that I'm not a thousand percent sure that these things will work again, nor am I saying that this is a guaranteed way to make profit. But what I am telling you is that this has worked a dozen times for me. It's going to work again most of the time. And I think it's worth the risk. As I described before, if you have a bankroll of $20,000, I think you're better off trying 20 times a thousand dollars, throwing it into something rather than trying all your luck on yield farming or one token. I think this is the best way to do it. Right now, one of the tokens that's launching really soon is Ply. What does it do? I have absolutely no idea. It says decentralized money market, but if we're gonna be honest, I don't really care. Um, it's honest, honest, right? If we're gonna be really critical, we'd have to assess. Uh, not, I don't really do that because there's a launch pad over on Bybit. I buy into every single one of these launches because it never has filled me yet. And so the first time it's going to fill me, I might lose a couple hundred bucks, but I don't really care for that as it's already made thousands upon thousands from whatever we invested. Because uh, every time it goes about 10x, 20x, 5x or so, uh, and I expect you to do yet, that yet again. So that's just my honest expectation. Uh, do your own due diligence. Don't just follow me. But I am telling you, this is what I do every single time. And it has worked every single time thus far. Then again, guys, buy better use for everything nowadays. Uh, you can yield farm on there. There's an NFT platform on there, which you have to be really quick if you want to ever buy those NFTs that goes crazy quickly. You have all the freaking options. You have copy trading nowadays. Uh, le okay, leverage token is not that crazy, but the, the USDC part, that's I think the, the craziest addition that they just currently ha have added, which is something that is quite nice. Um, I guess I wonder when UST futures are going to come as well, right? Eventually has to come. Uh, if you want to find the launch pad section, it's over here under trade. Then um, a little bit below, you will find Launchpad, you just press that button. There's also now buy votes where you can vote for new coins that are going to be listed on there. You get rewards for that. It is crazy, but it's very nice. And I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys to check it out. Then you guys probably already know this, but amidst this Ripple versus SEC battle, you might see a lot of FUD regarding XRP. And fun fact, XRP's price hasn't really gone down that 
heavily in comparison to quite a lot of other cryptos is doing quite well and just saying that xrp has dumped is really like saying it's, the crypto market has dumped and one of the guys in the comment section said it's like an avalanche right and said oh that rock just moved yeah a lot of rocks are freaking moving right a lot of snow potentially is moving uh, and so forth as one ripple's growth however as a company has actually been crazy still throughout this period and i described to you guys before what the cycle i think is going to be looking like i think the lawsuit is going to be what's going to pop the price up first then it's going to be the exchange relistings and then it's going to be the ripple slash xrp utility that's been kind of undermined or or not really valued or priced in for the longest amount of time but eventually i think that's going to kick in though and it's going to kick in heavily if you were to ask me Having said that, we've also seen Ripple CEO Brad Goinghouse's um, lauding support or basically supporting the bipartisan bill that's been put up just quite recently. The C, I don't remember the exact abbreviation, DECA, or I believe some people call it DCEA uh, bill. And at the end of the day, what they're trying to do here, uh, regulatory clarity is critical for digital commodity markets to promote innovation and consumer protection. DECA will provide the necessary consumer protections, responsible federal oversight and regulatory clarity for all participants in digital commodity markets. What they're trying to do is set some sort of framework and they're trying, they're trying, they're trying. Again, guys, a bill being proposed does not mean that new rules are made, period. Uh, it, it is that, again, a new idea is being put up and it's very important that they keep innovating and keep putting up these ideas because the more crypto positive ideas we see, the higher of a chance that at some point or another, one is going to get accepted. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Having said that, take a look at this right here, ladies and gentlemen. Cardano. Is Cardano CEO Charles Hoskinson meeting with Elon Musk to make Twitter decentralized? Now, if you care, the, something's kind of wrong there. Why? Because this is like throwing a dart at the freaking wall and like, oh, did I hit some? Maybe you did. Who, who gives a shit, right? Unless there's something which hangs on the result. IOHK Charles or Charles Hoskinson working together with Elon Musk doesn't mean anything until we are com until it's confirmed that they are. It's just a rumor as of this point, and it also doesn't mean anything unless we know that it's actually going to be something good. If you guys get my drift, right? Like this is some partnership which is not confirmed in any way, shape, or form. Um, somebody asked, "Hey, are you guys working together?" Because you just went to California, which is a pretty pretty uh wild accusation he just says can't confirm or deny which is is that good is that bad i'm not sure what to do with that so yeah absolutely no idea it's a rumor and i thought i should share it but i don't know what you got to do with this information you got to buy cardano because of this not really you're going to be more excited about twitter because of this maybe but maybe not depends on what comes out of it you know what, what can we do with this exactly regarding cardano i'm pretty excited about the project we've recently covered quite often that they've had some very nice uh numbers on their d apps it's going the right way you know for cardano it's going the right way and he has also shouted over on twitter that he's looking into making some decentralized sort of media um and that's when he reached out to elon musk saying if they reject your bid let's work on something and maybe he's going there for that reason but maybe not it's like a 50 50 i guess <laughs> Uh, regarding ApeCoin, if you guys don't know, this is the native cryptocurrency for the Board Ape Yacht Club and nowadays for a lot of other projects too uh, because, well, Yuga Labs is buying up a lot of things. ApeCoin, they have a new other side metaverse coming up today. Uh, the price of this coin has swung to a new all-time high and wills are going bonkers. Well, yeah, the price has pumped severely over the last week or so. Right now it's at $26 or $27 or so, I thought, when I last checked. Reason for that being... If you guys enjoyed these videos, make sure you press the like button, by the way. A little side note. Uh, the reason for that being, to buy this Metaverse land, you need to spend 305 APE on it. They're going to launch 50,000 plots, which basically means that they're going to be raking in about $300 million, maybe $400 million or so in just sales. Uh, but remember, what they're basically doing is creating a huge amount of utility for ApeCoin. And I've told you guys before, be cautious... But utilize this to the best of your ability. When this other side metaverse was announced, we speculated that there was going to be a high probability that Ape was going to be used in that system. So I did say, it's not a bad idea to buy some of this token for a little while. And right now is kind of like the end of that little while. In the same sense that I told you all, and again, I tell this for your own benefit, to buy Bit the BitDAO token over on Bybit. Every single time a new token gets announced it's going to be um, listed on the launch pad because a huge amount of people are going to be buying the Bit token to stack it up, basically, to purchase. 
it's it's so smart, it's so easy. You can make tens of hundreds of millions with this strategy just by utilizing it even better than I am. You could probably become a billionaire purely off of this small piece of information. Why? Because if you go along, for example, on Bit, a little bit before, um, or I, I guess once a new project is announced, just as an example, you go long a bit. Or listen to the tips I've given with the fact that the price of Bit cannot go below a dollar. It's 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 highly improbable. It just doesn't make any sense. Just by having that in the back of your head, by going long at any one point above a dollar, you know, at, for example, one dollar nine when it was there, or well, right now it's at one dollar twenty-five, something like that. Easy profits. But also for for Ape, we were talking about this at seven or nine dollars. Don't remember. There's a very high probability that some crazy utility is going to come in the real short term where people have to buy this coin massively. Well, then it just makes sense to go either long on that, which again is possible over on buy, but or just buy it, whatever. You guys get my drift, right? And it's, it's crazy, but there's a lot of these opportunities and I try to keep sharing them. It's, I, I know it's easier in theory than to actually act upon it. But trust me, guys, uh, when I say that opportunities like this are some of the easiest ones that can, can be out there, basically the opportunity to buy the rumors, sell the news. That's a lot better often than betting on the coin in which you actually want to have. So for example, betting on the metaverse land is a lot more difficult than buying the ape token at $7 and selling it at 22. Otherwise you're going to have to actually a lot $7,000 for one plot of land and you might want to buy more because well, how much is it going to gain you it's hard to say because there's 50,000 of them but yeah at the end of the day it's, it's, it's really difficult it could be that eventually the value of that is going to go to $50,000 per plot as well it's very much possible I'm not saying it's not uh, I'm just saying it's a little bit harder to make accurate predictions with that as it's something more intangible even Former Google CEO Eric Schmidt starts investing in crypto, finds Web3 economics interesting. Again, some very nice news as a base layer, but not really anything too important. We know the majority of people in the world, specifically billionaires, are quite excited about crypto and they're most likely going to dabble into it at some point or another. He has now shown even more severe interest, which I guess is nice because it adds some severity to the matter. He's a little bit quicker than a lot of the others, but... I, again, Google, former Google CEO being excited about it. It's not something which I am surprised about. Logically speaking, they know Web3 is going to take over. And so as a supporter of Web2 in the, in the nature in which he was, he understands Web3 most likely has some very big appeal to it. So it's just logical. A logical deduction could have been made as well that these guys will support it eventually. All the big tech guys will eventually, even Bill Gates will eventually come to terms, I think. Goldman Sachs is bringing Bitcoin-backed loans to traditional finance. This is some news from, I think, a day or two ago. Just wanted to quickly make that out there or put it out there as well. Investment bank Goldman Sachs has announced the introduction of Bitcoin-backed loans. And what is a first for a major U.S. bank, Goldman Sachs has expanded its crypto offerings to include these Bitcoin-backed loans. It is the first secure lending facility of its kind, which will lend out cash that is collateralized by Bitcoin. Just nice to see. Again, it's not going to make any big dent straight at the bat, but this is actually bigger than the majority of news I've covered in a long while, which is why I had to just put it into a video, even though I've been a little bit late to the party. It's very big news. Um, Bitcoin-backed loans to traditional finance can, can be used a, a whole lot in the traditional financial realm, so that could be huge. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you press that like button, and I'm going to see you guys again in another crypto video very soon. Adios.